Hi, my name is Tina Pearson and I'm a celebrity hairstylist and the owner of the Tina Pearson Salon. The advice that I give to stylists looking to open their salon, their own salon, is to be sure you're opening a salon for the right reasons. Um, sometimes people like to get away from their current environment and they believe that opening my own salon is the answer and entrepreneurship is not for everyone. So I, I tell people to make sure, make sure that that's what you want to do. And then if you're sure, um, just study, study business. Uh, don't go into it as a hairstylist, you know, go into it as a business owner. When I became a hairstylist many years ago, the goal for most hairstylists were to graduate school and find an amazing salon to work in. A salon that you can grow in, you know, you can advance in, and the salon you worked in made a difference in your career. Today with social media, um, I find stylists can be very successful just based on their following. So you could know how to style hair and make hair look very pretty and you can be so successful because of social media. So it's just about the final image, whereas before it was like honing your craft. We had to go to school, we had to take classes, we learned from each other. And you know, stylists today have such an advantage because you can just go online, look at something over and over and over again and now you know how to do that style. Well, now I know how to do this cut. My all-time favorite style is a bob. A bob, a bob, a bob. It is, to me, the best, most classic, healthiest, sexiest, trendy. I mean, you can switch it up in so many ways. I think a bob allows a woman to feel like she still has a lot of hair on her head, you know, and she can run her fingers through it. Um, but still have a look. So you could have all this volume if you want, you can be really sleek and edgy if you want, but yet, you know, you still feel like you have a lot of hair on your head, you know, whereas if you're a short pixie, then that has to kind of be who you are. And I just think for women, especially women of color, sometimes we don't like to cut our hair. So a bob is just a really good way when a woman is, you know, not necessarily wanting to cut their hair, they can get a bob and then still feel they have a look. My least favorite styling technique is one that is so popular today, finger waves. Oh my God, I hated them, I hated them. I just avoided them, I never liked doing them, and I kind of still don't like them to, to, to this day. I like the finished product, I like the way we're using them, you know, incorporating them today in a very dry, finished, um, more modern way but absolutely finger waves was always my least favorite. I could never do a photo shoot without my ceramic flat iron. One inch iron can pretty much allow you to achieve anything. So if you have long hair, it's gonna get you there. If you have short hair, it's, you know, it's just small enough to still flat iron uh, small hair. You can do a full curl, spiral curl, a wave. It can pretty much give you any look that you need. So definitely a ceramic flat iron and you know, hair art just happens to be my favorite. I guess I would say to describe our salon, it would definitely be a Neo Soul, Erica Badu, but then we could just kind of switch it right to any Diddy song. So I think, I think a blend of neo-soul and a little old-school hip-hop. 